Hey, I wanted to show you guys a cool little device if you haven't discovered it yet. This is called the M5 Stick C Plus. It's a super powerful, tiny, tiny, you can see with a quarter for comparison there. It has GPIO ports that you can connect all sorts of things to. It has a built-in battery that recharges uh, with USB-C. It's got a connection there for accessories. It has built-in Wi-Fi and BLE, and it has uh, three axis accelerometers and gyroscopes. It has a built in microphone and speaker. It has switches that you can use to navigate menus or whatever you want to program them for. I wrote this simple little program here to, to uh, act like a little Nixie clock, and uh, it, it uses a built in real time clock. And if you need to synchronize it, you can just press this button here. It, I have it scan the uh, Wi-Fi for networks, and it looks for any open networks that it can connect to to get the time. But if it doesn't find one, it goes ahead and connects to a built-in SSID and password that I pre-configured it when I programmed it. It's an incredibly powerful little device. Hackers are using them for all sorts of stuff. This is the same thing, slightly different color, because this is the... M5 Stick C Plus 2, which has a more powerful battery. Everything else is the same though. Bigger battery, a little more memory, a better processor. And this one right here is running the cat hack system, which I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off. It waits for a few seconds. There you go. And we'll go ahead and turn it back on again. There you go. And this guy has all sorts of built built-in fun stuff. It's got an infrared system that allows you to do the uh, TV be gone function. It just shuts off any TV in the area. It has a place where you can attach a little accessory that, that gives you access to the sub gigahertz band so you can take a look at key fobs and, and use the NFC thing to, you know, read and copy, you know, credit cards and key fobs. It also has a, uh, in, if you go into the Wi-Fi function, let me go ahead and press a button here. So Wi-Fi right here is a thing that people are getting in a lot of trouble with. Oops, let me go ahead and get that again. If Wi-Fi will let you do typical war driving to like scan for networks and save the, uh, the information and location. It has a web portal that you can use to, uh, to really get people's custom information, you know, log on stuff. So you can get into trouble with this guy. Uh, it has a deauthor function that, that allows you to disconnect people from the network. Wi-Fi spam lets you just put out a whole bunch of fake SSIDs that are just kind of funny. It's good entertainment. This is a, the bad portal thing. Let me go back to that. That's the that's the crazy one people are getting into big trouble with. If you set this up, you can use a default or you can go ahead and set up a custom one. And this allows you to name it. Like right now, you can see it's named free Wi-Fi, but you can change that to Atlanta airport free Wi-Fi or whatever. And then when people get on a plane, they end up connecting to it automatically because they connected to it at the airport. And it kind of gives them a page to either log on to Google or to Facebook or to whatever. You can set up custom HTML on the thing to make it look like any web page you want. And that's what people are really getting into trouble with. So this is one of those things that you basically, you know, can have a lot of fun with or you can get yourself in trouble with. And this is a this is another interesting thing. This is the same device. You can see this is the M5 stick. C plus and it's connected to a little thermal camera. Uh, you can see the, the you know lens for it there. And right now you can see I put my fingers behind there, but this is getting thermal information. You can see my little my little plus two right here is is a little bit hotter. You can see that in the background. But it's just crazy fun. They're tiny as heck. You can see how, how how small they are compared to that quarter. You can put three of these in your pocket with no problem at all, and it's great fun. 
So anyway, if you haven't had a chance to play with one of these, this little basic guy, this one and this one are, I would recommend the plus two because they're the same price now. They're $19.95. And this little guy right here is more. I think this was like 75 bucks or something, but it includes the Stixi, the little case for it and the thermal camera. And it's like, like I said, 75 bucks, but you can use this for looking for leaks in your, in your insulation in your walls. Uh, this little guy right here, uh, um, you can wear like a watch. They have straps to it that you can attach it like a wristwatch. And this little hacker guy here, boy, can you get into fun stuff with this? Uh, but anyway, good fun. There's all sorts of programs people have written that are that are available for them. And uh, if you haven't had a chance to pick one up, you know, pick one up. They're lots of fun. Anyway, that's it for today.